Hey guys, this is Bert with InformalGadget.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPad 1 that's running with the new version of uh, iOS which is 5.0 or 5.0.1 this is only for the older versions of the Apple devices. It's not for the new iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S. So if you're still looking for a jailbreak for that, they haven't released it yet. They're still saying that they're gonna that there's one in the works, but we haven't gotten one. But if you have an iPhone 4 or iPad or iPod Touch, the older versions, uh, you'll be able to jailbreak it untethered. So this is a big deal because this is the first untethered jailbreak for iOS 5 all the other versions are, are tethered which means that you have to connect your iPhone to the PC or Macintosh if you power it down to reboot it so now we won't have to reboot our Apple devices if they power down um, so the first thing you should do is check in your settings and go uh, down to general and then you go to about and then you should go down and look to make sure that you're in 5.0.1 so if you see right here this version is 5.0 so what we're going to do is we're going to update it to the latest version and then uh, we're going to use red snow to jailbreak it if your phone is unlocked and you're using T-Mobile or some other carrier you should um, hold out on, on doing it this way because you're going to have to uh, hold that baseband that you have so that it doesn't lock you up so if you're trying to leave it unlocked don't use this tutorial find a, um, I might make a tutorial for it but this is only for your Apple device that you're gonna use and not worry about it being unlocked to use with other carriers so the first thing we're gonna want to do is have a full backup of your Apple device you're just gonna open up iTunes and go to the Apple device right click your device and click on backup once it's done backing everything up uh, as you can see right there it's backing everything up you're gonna want to go and hit the sync button make sure everything's synced and once everything's synced we're gonna want to go ahead and hit that update button to update our Apple device to 5.0.1 as you can see right there it's on 5.0 and after we hit the update button we will be at the latest uh, version of the iOS for the Apple device uh, again you don't want to update this if you do have an unlocked Apple device if you want to keep that unlocked Apple device running on your T-Mobile or wherever, whatever carrier you're using uh, do not update it this way. There's an other tutorials to be able to show you how to be able to hold that baseband so that you don't lose the unlock. But just go ahead and update it if you don't care about the baseband. And um, we will, after it's updated, we will be ready to jailbreak. So now that we've uh, updated everything, we can now go over here to iTunes and see that it's on 5.0.1 and if we go here to our Apple device we could also see if you go to general about and go down to version you'll see that now it's updated also to 5.0.1 we could now close iTunes out and open up a program called Red Snow I'll provide the link down below just uh, download it for either your Mac or for your PC and you're gonna open that up if you have a uh, Windows XP or Windows 7 make sure it's running under administration mode and if you have Windows 7 make sure to right click it and open it in Windows XP compatibility mode so to go ahead and open that up and you're gonna see here that it says jailbreak or extras we're gonna hit jailbreak and it's gonna tell you to please make sure that the device is plugged in which you can see right there that it's plugged into my computer and you're gonna have to turn it off so just hold down the this top button up here I don't know if you can see it this top button right here hold it down well actually make sure that the screens on hold it down until you see the red slide bar 
slide it off and just wait until that actually shuts down all the way. Once you see it shut down all the way, you're going to go ahead and hit next. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the power button for two seconds and then you're going to hold down the home button while you're holding down the power button at the same time for 10 seconds. And after you're done doing that, you're going to let go of the power button and you're going to keep on holding down the home button. So just keep holding down the home button and then you'll see that on the computer, the loading bar will start and you could go ahead and let go of the home button and it should load up uh, the program to jailbreak the device. So right now we're just putting it into DFU mode. When this pops up right here, you're going to make sure that it says install Cydia and you're going to hit next. From here you'll see that your device is, uh, is loading and it's basically in the process of jailbreaking your Apple device. On the computer, you'll see that it says that it's done jailbreak. It's done doing its part on the computer, and all the whole rest of the process is on on your Apple device. You'll see that this scary matrix uh, looking screen pops up. It's normal. Don't be alarmed by it. And just let it do its thing. So there you go. Now you have uh, Cydia jailbroken on your Apple device. Again, this doesn't uh, work for the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S, but if you have any of the older Apple devices, you will be able to have an untethered uh, jailbroken Apple device. Uh, if this helped you out, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you have any questions, you could go ahead and leave it in the comments section, and I try to answer my comments as quick as possible. So. Let me know how this works out for you. Uh, and don't forget to visit Informal Gadget.